Hi, I'm Oliveira Gruyic, a lecturer in computer science. And I am Sati Raghavachari, a senior lecturer in computer science. We're here to talk about a graduate course we co-teach, CSCI 585, Principles of Database Systems. The class covers relational and non-relational database systems, the kind of very large databases that now dominate our world. It's about where and how data is stored and managed on a very large scale. If you've used a single app today, you probably touched a huge database. They're behind apps like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Netflix. They also power Amazon, eBay, PayPal, Uber, and Lyft. Google Search and Google Earth run off of massive databases too. If you want to work at any of these companies, you will need to understand how big data actually works. We teach you about current systems and the modeling techniques behind them. Techniques that you might still be able to use 10 years from now. Covering theory and practice means this class isn't just about information. It's about learning ways of thinking and problem solving, including the trade-offs of different systems. We come from the corporate world so we know how valuable this approach really is. You'll learn about the two primary types of databases, relational and non-relational. In the relational segment, we'll talk about modeling, concurrent transactions, and transaction management. We'll also go through SQL, normalization, and optimization, and business intelligence. In the non-relational piece, we'll dive into NoSQL databases and data mining. You'll be introduced to new thrusts in data science, machine learning, big data platforms like Hadoop, and cloud computing. We'll also explore spatial data, which hovers between relational and non-relational, with qualities of both. When the course is over, you'll be able to design a relational and a non-relational database, including how to store, manipulate, and retrieve data. You'll be able to write accurate, optimized queries that perform fast on big databases. You'll know how to work with spatial data in systems like Google Earth and in cloud computing structures like Google Cloud. So you'll know, say, how to optimize servicing of every single fire hydrant in the city of Los Angeles. When you're interviewing for jobs, you'll have a bag of tricks you can reach into that will help you answer complex, challenging questions. This course is for masters, PhD, and PDP students who want to work with data, including Marshall School students, in any capacity. Companies increasingly are favoring people who are experts in a specific domain, and this is your opportunity to start on a path as a big data expert. If you are a data science major, this course will give you a systems perspective that you might not have otherwise. If you are a business student, you will get a behind-the-scenes look at how data is actually handled in big companies, which means you will understand it on a level that most people in sales, operations, and finance probably never will. And we try to make all this fun, <laughs> so you'll probably enjoy the course. What could be better than learning from both of us? See you in class.